a um, little short story. It's called Scrag End. Scrag End is like the crappiest, cheapest piece of meat that you uh, can buy from the butcher. Mum used to always tell a story about how poor they were, young, barely teenagers, married, um, and how over the years they came so far beyond that, but she would always remember back. So this, this little short story is called Scrag End. We were so poor we could only afford to buy some Scrag End from Cahill the Butchers for Christmas dinner, she would tell us. She even asked for some free dog bones too, and they got cooked up with no shame. We couldn't afford a chicken, never mind a turkey, Scrag End for dinner. It was Christmas. Someone in a blue hatchback from Dublin came to visit and left us with reams of A4 paper and a plastic dinosaur. We felt like we had hit the jackpot. He had white hair, he didn't stay long and it was raining, and water was slushing down the hill as I watched him jump into his car. There were words, but I could not hear them. I was excited for my new jumper. A tree with multicolored lights illuminated our faces as brown paper bags with some crayons, sweets, a tangerine, a coloring book and a ping pong paddle with a ball and a string was unraveled in confusion. Trinkets from a 99p store that we thought were treasures. We knew things were missing, but we bit down on the hard caramel and chocolate of a curly whirly and smiled. Walking proudly up to my friends, John Martin and Kieran, and joining in the Christmas Day playtime with my plastic dinosaur. It was an evil lizard to join the imaginary worlds of He-Man and Transformers that Santa had brought them. I swallowed my jealousy and turned my disappointment into excitement and continued to battle and wage war on Skeletor. The power of poverty meets the gift of imagination. In 1982, there was no car. Sobriety was a new and fleeting thing. Everything was held together with sheer willpower, a child raising a family. The power of her imagination, the power of her future dreams, knew this too shall pass knew that the world had more in store for her. This could not be it. This was simply not enough. Scrag End for dinner would not define this Donegal princess, this fishwife philosopher. She would drag her brood out of the rat pit, face the gale force winds, harbour them against destruction, see them safely to the port of goodwill with riches and promised wealth. She wrote it, made it true, and willed it into being from nothing, a poet alchemist. Turn scrag end into prime beef. Give life back to the drunken sailors so that he could wake up early on, early in the morning. Took the great big bag of shit life had given her. Polished it, magicked it into something that should not exist. Grasped something from nothing as God created the universe from nothing. She created her own and held it all together with her words. A wild banshee wailing like the wind, she brought them all into her future. What was she? Not a child, not yet a woman, something of both, greater than both, half fish, half woman, a mermaid, a silky, a powerful force of nature. He held her hand, her storm dragged them all into her dream. Cats and dogs and rabbits and birds and hamsters and shit filled guinea pig cages, a kitchen floor with silver fish, the shame of the dole queue, three children, burnt saucepans, past due rent, the 70s and childhood would be left behind. This was the 80s. This was the future for this Wonder Woman to 1984 and beyond. Do not stand in her way. She will knock you over as a great oak topples in a winter storm. And from the ruins of that life emerge a new one with color TVs and toys, with cars, real cars, a house that would become a home, the sailor that would become a hero, the children placated, and no more fucking scrag end for dinner. Uh, there you go. Cheers.